Thank you, Wendy. Most projects span multiple departments and organizations. And as project leaders, we are increasingly challenged to align those teams and have them work toward the same business objectives. But quite often, there's contradictory working cultures. And we need to be able to work toward making sure collaboration works. We expect teams to work together effortlessly. But in reality, I think all of us know that working across teams and organizations is not all that successful. In this webinar, I'll be discussing some obstacles to a cross-organization collaboration at my organization and share some techniques from organizational design and other models that we can establish lasting alignment across teams. Successful collaboration is hard. And as we know, it is both necessary and widespread. But we all experience this in our day-to-day -day jobs, that having teams work together, work toward the same goals and being aligned takes a lot of effort. And as I learned from my own organization, aligning cross-organizational teams is extremely tricky. So in my organization, I'm going to give you a little bit of a background, and then we're going to talk through the case study, and I'm also going to talk through some of the elements of design thinking and organizational design that help contribute toward collaboration. So I'm going to set the stage here. Have you ever been on a project where cross-team dysfunction almost brought your project to a halt? What if you had to work with another team that was risk-adverse or sales-focused or driven by personality types that were radically different from your own team. This is what happened to me. My organization was co-developing a clinical software system with an outside vendor. Our success was tied to both the development of the software applications, as well as deployment of those applications across our hospital sites. As with any complex IT project, there was a large risk that the systems would not be deployed in a timely manner. But as I learned, this risk came not from our external vendor, but from another team that was internal to our organization. In order for my team to achieve its goals, we were heavily dependent on an operational team that supported the existing legacy systems. And we needed them to help plan and execute the rollout of these systems. But you could say this other operational team, they were not ready, nor were they even happy to take on this IT and business change that we presented them. Bridging the gap between the departments, mine and the operations team, did not come easy. And at times, we were not aligned on the goals of the program. Other times, we were even actively working against one another. Most projects span multiple departments and organizations. As project leaders, we are challenged to align these teams on different business objectives, connect different working cultures, form open lines of communications, and help teams develop best practices around collaboration. So why, do, why is it hard for teams to work together? Why does coordination fail within organizations? There are several obstacles that come into play. First, there could be disagreement on the objectives and goals. If your teams are not working toward the same business goals, then coordination and collaboration will be limited. A related obstacle is disagreement on what steps to take in order to achieve these goals. I would bet most of us have been in the situation where goals are set down from management but teams want to achieve them in different ways. Lack of trust. It's hard to trust other people, especially when your professional success depends on them. Our fellow colleagues and coworkers are often not our friends. You might not have anything in common with individuals from other teams, yet you need to rely on one another in order to make sure things happen and that projects make forward progress. Building the trust both inside teams and across the teams is very important. 
for those of us as project leaders. And I can tell you that building trust takes work, effort, and time. You need to be able to trust others, look past their differences, and also prove to them that you yourself are a reliable person. We live in a competitive society that we're taught that we're in competition with others. Another obstacle to cross-team coordination is the reluctance to share ideas, results, and even success. Teams can be competitive with their experience and knowledge, but unwilling to share that expertise with outside groups. Different business cultures is also playing a big role in why teams are reluctant to collaborate. Whether a team is halfway across the world or halfway across town, each team has a different working style. As project leaders, it's important for us to understand these differences and work to bridge those differences. Lastly, the academic literature shows that when there's high turnover of key staff, this is another factor of why teams don't work well together. When an organization is struggling to make forward progress, it often closes the ranks and has an inward focus rather than a collaborative outlook. So as someone that was responsible for the overall success of my program, I needed to be able to figure out how to get these teams to work together. And after a year into my program, the most notable organizational challenge was the absence of shared vision between all the departments. And as I mentioned, I managed a team that was eager to see our software to be deployed and rolled out and in use by our users. The operational team, on the other hand, was not enthusiastic. They saw great risk in replacing the legacy systems with the new systems. Some of the challenges that we faced, each of the departments had radically different team cultures and business drivers. The product development team was agile design-focused, willing to entertain new ideas and take risks. We were willing to prototype and test applications and concepts with users. We worked very closely with our users and spent more time planning and thinking strategically. Now, my team, however, the one downside, we were relatively new to the clinical domain that we were working in. But over time, we came up to speed. The operational team, on the other hand, the majority of the staff had come up to the ranks as clinical technologists or supervisors. They had deep knowledge of the clinical domain, had been supporting these IT systems for eight to ten years, and were excellent about putting out fires and troubleshooting. However, the individuals on the operations team, they were risk adverse, did not want to interact with outsiders, and you had to prove your value before you gained any acceptance with them. Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that last clip. My name is Michael Maloudis, and if you'd like to watch the full 60 minutes of that last webcast, while also gaining complete unlimited access to our entire library of IT learning, simply visit our subscribe page at greatpro.org slash subscribe. Unlimited annual access is $199 per year. But if you use the coupon code learn to earn you can drop that membership fee to just $149. That's less than $13 per month for unlimited access to over 1,000 hours of on-demand career development, covering the entire spectrum of IT management best practices, including business analysis and requirements, software development, quality and testing, risk management, process improvement, project management, and even digital transformation. But your membership doesn't just give you unlimited access to our vast learning library. You also get free access to our mobile app, as well as direct access to our network of over 300 of the world's leading IT consultants, all of whom are dedicated to putting practical knowledge at your fingertips so that you can learn more and earn more. I hope you will join me in becoming a member of the great IT professional and advancing your career with us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button above so that you get notified whenever we publish new free webcasts each week of the year. Thank you for your time and best wishes for your continued success.